Hello everyone, my name is Loco and welcome to some more Heroes of the Storm news. Today I wanted to be going over a blog post that Blizzard posted yesterday about the upcoming Hero League and Draft Mode changes that are going to be implemented on January 13th when the closed beta goes live. And I figured a lot of you probably haven't heard about these changes yet. Um, and some of you might even be interested in hearing my thoughts about certain things, right? Like, I don't, I don't, maybe, maybe some people, maybe some people. So I figured why not go over this article really quickly um, and talk about the upcoming changes. So here we go. At BlizzCon 2014, we revealed a little bit about how ranked play will work in Heroes of the Storm. Today, we'd like to give you a more detailed look at our initial implementation for Hero League and Draft Mode, which will open up for testing once the closed beta starts next week's Tuesday, and I believe in, in Wednesday, or on Wednesday rather, in the European side of things. I'm not completely sure if that's true, but most of the time whenever Blizzard does update something and it's on a Tuesday, it is like the day later in uh, in the Europe's. Um, as you read through the rest of this post, please keep in mind that this is our initial implementation for Hero League and Draft Mode. Alright, so the very first thing they would like to introduce right here is ranked play called Hero League. We know there are heroes players out there, we just want to win. No, they want to be, oh, we don't just want to win, they want to be the best, right? Those, those, are, those are the people that watch my YouTube videos, right? If this sounds like you, yes, then you'll definitely want to spend some time playtesting Hero League, which will allow you to compete in ranked heroes matches against others of similar skill. To find the Hero League, click change mode on the play screen, select Hero League, and then click confirm. So this is basically going to be the ranked play that they are introducing um, in Heroes of the Storm when the close beta start. Now, while changing modes, blah, 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 we don't really care about that. So this is a competitive league mode. And in order to start playing it, you must reach player level 30 or higher, and you must own at least 10 heroes. So basically, the reasons behind this is because while well, you need, you know, there's gonna be there's gonna be 10 players in the game. Um, obviously, your opponents might be uh, picking five heroes. You'll be picking five heroes if you're the last to pick and you have less than nine. Um, or less than 10 rather, you're not going to be able to uh, to pick a hero. So that's the reason why. Um, getting to level player or player level 30 doesn't take all that long to be honest. I've been playing quite actively for a while and I did hit level 40 like last week or so. Uh, so, you know, it doesn't it doesn't really take like a significant amount of time. So level 30 should be more than enough. Um, level 40 being the max level right now. So how does Hero League work? If you met the requirement mentioned above, you'll see your current rank, win-loss record, and a few notable stats displayed by the Hero League play screen. Okay, so everyone starts off at rank number 50, okay? That's basically where things start off. Now here we go. Matchmaking. While you can queue or while you can queue for Hero League using a party of any size, the matchmaker will always prefer pitting or pitting parties of equal size against one another. So example, if you are queuing up with two people and you get matched with another person or with another group of three, you will be trying to be faced against opponents that are also matching up as two and three. So you get at the very least, you know what that means is that if you are playing with two people, you're not gonna be matched up against people that are running full parties. That's basically what it's trying to say. Um, the matchmaker will search the Hero League in order, or the queue in order to place you um, with and against people of similar skill using MMR, basically the same system that they use in StarCraft 2 and pretty much all of their other games, um, except for maybe Hearthstone, I'm not completely sure how that works. So once you find a match, you will enter Draft Mode, where you'll build your team composition for the game that lies ahead. So, so Draft Mode is basically the, the same version as it is in like League of Legends and Dota 2 and whatnot, where basically teams get to pick heroes. So, you know, teams will take turns selecting the heroes they would like to play. Um, the very first team gets to pick one, and then the other team gets to pick two, and then one, and then one, and uh, you know, you get the idea. So, <clears throat> teams will then alternate picking two heroes at a time until just one player remains. Um, and, you know, that lost the coin toss because they're just a randomizer. Now, the most important thing to note right here is that there's no bans, okay? And there was a whole lot of shenanigans going on on the forums about this whole thing and on Reddit as well, and that people were a little bit upset that there isn't any kind of bans in the game. Now, the reason behind this, I wanted to go over this really quickly, um, is that at BlizzCon, they said that they aren't going to be introducing bans just yet, um, and they don't plan on introducing them unless it's absolutely necessary. There's a couple of reasons for this. First one, the obvious one, is that, well, players will need even more than 10 heroes in order to be eligible for draft mode, because if you're going to be banning players or heroes on either side, you're going to need even more. You're going to very quickly go up to like 16 heroes 
uh, that you need to be order or in order to actually play some of the games. Uh, but more importantly, they're trying to keep the total match time of heroes pretty short, okay? So right now, for example, League of Legends game can very quickly take up to like 45 minutes. I think the, the longest games that I've played in Heroes of the Storm are like 30 minutes and more often than not, they're ending right around the 15 to 20 minute mark. So, you know, they want the games to be very quick or not very quick, but at the very least kind of fast. And they don't want the draft mode, like the actual selecting of heroes and whatnot to, to take about half of the game time, right? They don't really want to do that. So that's the reason why they aren't adding in bands just yet. But like I said, they might still um, go ahead and actually introduce it if it is necessary. Uh, what they've also done is actually not include the most recent heroes um, in the actual um, in the actual character selection screen, in the draft mode. So, you know, with this patch, they will also be releasing Thrall. Um, if they're sticking to the words that they said at BlizzCon, he is not going to be able, he's not going to be available for draft mode until the next patch, until they know that he is actually functional and balanced. So that way they're, they're hoping that everything is balanced. And I do realize that they are going to be taking away of a layer of strategy with banning heroes and stuff and certain team compositions. But I personally, I personally quite like the idea behind it, um, that they're trying to keep the game a little bit shorter than the other MOAs out there. Um, so basically, you will be playing um, with a lot of points, you will be matching up against other teams, and you're actually going to be playing ranked. Now what does this mean? Points and ranks. You'll begin your Hero League journey at rank 50, and with each game that you win, you will earn points toward the promotion of the next rank. The top players among you will soar to new heights in pursuit of the coveted rank 1, where you'll compete among the best of the best that Hero League has to offer. So obviously this is going to you know, be the very highest level of play, but I wouldn't be surprised if they will introduce some sort of Grandmaster League, slash sort of like a um, Legend League, like they have in Hero, or in, in Hearthstone rather, um, and you know, they probably just haven't announced that yet, because it doesn't really make a lot of sense in a beta, uh, but I wouldn't be surprised if that's going to be introduced as well. Now, each game that you will lose, you will uh, lose a bunch of your points, and just as consistently winning uh, will result in promotion to the next rank, losing consistently will also allow you to be demoted. You will ever receive a small point buffer after ranking up, which will help you prevent immediately de-ranking if you lose your first game after being promoted. So what happens is that, um, you know, they're, they're basically they're basically being a little bit noob friendly in the way that you're not going to be a, up against the highest level of play right from the get-go. And once you are, you're not going to be demoted uh, very quickly either. In the future, we will implement seasons, but for the beta, it's not relevant. Okay. So that is the, the main thing right there where they're saying, okay, there's rank mode right now called Hero League that we'll also be introducing. Let me go to that screenshot really quickly. Um, Team League, but that seems to be grayed out for now, which is all right. Um, and Team League is obviously going to be 5v5s, uh, where you can only queue up with five people. So, um, game abandonment. So this is a pretty big one right here. We wanted ranked play in Heroes of the Storm to be a competitive and fun experience for players at all ranks and skill levels. Players who abandon games before they're finished not only bring down the team morale, but also hurt the competitive experience for all nine of the other players. For these reasons, we plan to implement a few penalties for game abandonment with our next game. So, or with an expat rather. So basically, if you leave the game, you're going to be penaltied. You're going to you're going to have to suffer a few consequences. So any player who leaves an in-game or in-progress hero league or quick match and does not rejoin before it is finished will be prevented from playing any ranked games until they complete a new quick match, which is going to be like the current versus mode, basically just an unranked match. Um, and they cannot complete they con cannot compete once again in the Hero League until they complete a new quick match game. That player will also still earn or lose rank points depending on the outcome of the match he or she left prematurely. So basically, if you leave in Hero League, which is going to be a ranked mode or quick match mode, that is, you're going to be penalized. You're, you're going to have to suffer some penalties. Any player who leaves a Hero League game during draft mode, so during the selection, will lose a substantial amount of ranked points, become unable to play ranked games until completing a quick match game, and will also cause any players in his or her party to incur these penalties. So these are pretty big ones, um, especially the last one right there, and will also cause any players in his or her party to incur these penalties. Um, honestly, I really like this, but I saw a lot of people complain about it because it is kind of rough, but I personally absolutely disgust. Like, I, I absolutely hate it when people leave games. 
um, when they really shouldn't be. Like, if you if you are, like, a rage quitter, it's just lame, right? I, I really don't like rage quitters in general that just do that sort of stuff. Um, so, you know, I'm, I'm glad they are penalizing a little bit. I wouldn't be surprised if they are going to be changing it a little bit. Um, please keep in mind that these penalties are work in progress, and we know they fall a little under the strict side. We plan to bring improvement to the system and make the rules more flexible with future game upgrades. But, you know, I'm, I'm very glad that they're introducing a system like this. And last but not least, there's a couple of minor changes here as well. Custom gains. After our last patch, you may have noticed that a new but disabled lobby mode drop-down menu was added to the custom game lobby organization screen. With our next update, you'll be able to use the drop-down to change um, change up how your select will work in each of your custom games. Okay. Um, and then last but not least, those among you who love playing Heroes of the Storm as part of a dedicated team may be pleased to know that we'll be implementing a team league mode for ranked player with future update. This will be an even more competitive experience than Hero League, which will obviously be a lot of single queues and like duo queues and whatnot, and we'll have more to share on that in the weeks to come. For now, we're very excited to bring you our in initial implementation for Hero League and Draft Mode, and can't wait to hear your feedback. So, all in all, I have nothing to complain about. Like, they have already announced that they're going to be adding on a new hero as well. Um, that is going to be introduced with this whole thing as well. Um, so, you know, that that is going to be... That's going to obviously be a pretty big thing. Thrall is already standing right there on the sidebar. Um, and he's obviously going to be introduced very soon as well with this exact same patch. Which is going to be upcoming Tuesday. Now, if you don't already have access to Heroes of the Storm, just sign up to the beta, okay? I will leave... An actual link right uh, below that like button in the description below that you can use to sign up um, because I would not be surprised I don't know exactly how many people they are looking to invite but the closed beta is becoming you know reality very very shortly and that means they are going to be inviting a lot more people than there are currently available in the game now that is going to be it pretty much for this video if you enjoyed it hit that like button if you want to see more hit that subscribe button but let me know right below that like button in the comment section what your thoughts are on Hero League and Draft Mode. I want to thank you guys all for watching. Have an amazing day. Do not forget to smile. And I'll see you in the next one.